Hey guys, Canadian here from Cree Brand Friends. Um, those of you that watch CNB, you would know what this is. This is CNB's pocket size potion lab. Um, it's fairly compact. Uh, pretty complicated to do though if you're just gonna do it if you weren't used to redstone. Um, lots of redstone torches here, lots of delays and things there. It could be way easier to do. So, of course, I um, made it easier to do. I didn't know that this would be easier to do at first though, guys. I was just playing around, um, trying to make my own design for it. I don't even know why. But I, um, so I was doing that. And yeah, just, so just to show you this works. Uh, let's add splash to a potion of fire resistance. So it'll give you all the ingredients for that. And then of course you'd need to, yeah, but since I'm creative. So then I'll go to my thing and show it off to you guys. So let's go into here. And um, so this is mine. So I'll show you it works. Let's go add, <coughs> make the potion stronger. And let's add speed. Because you know we like speed. So let's wait for it. It gives us our stuff. And the last bottles didn't come down. Oh, yeah, they did. They're right there. Okay, um, so this is, I'll show you mine now, my end, the back of it, it's incredibly simple, maybe not as compact, but it's a lot easier to do, there's really no hard redstone wiring, it's just pretty much patterns, uh, so I'll show you guys how to do this, and I'll be right back. First off, let's start off with just a little basic design. Um, levers on either side and six buttons um, in between. Let's place redstone torches behind each button. There we go. Now let's place blocks above those redstone torches. More redstone torches. And more blocks on top. Oops. Why didn't I just do that? <laughs> okay, so now we can place our dispensers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go two to the side. So then you would have a row of ten. And then above that, on the middle four. Oops. So these are the middle four dispensers. Let's place more dispensers. So then you have this row of lots of dispensers. So let's uh, go blocks out from these torches and lead redstone like this. Let's grab a glowstone block. And it's like instant wiring. Oh god. Leg, leg, doesn't like me. And let's keep going up actually. Oh, I'm lagging so much. Okay, now put redstone on each block. And then let's go like this. And then you have your thing. So here you'd put um, glass bottle, glass bottle, glass bottle, and then nether warts. Um, I'll fill that up in a second. And now what you're going to do is do this, go out two, go repeater, repeater, sorry, redstone, and then repeater, redstone. There you go, with some delay. And you're going to go like this. And you're going to go like this. And then you're going to build sand. 
up so it's level with that. You don't need to use sticky pistons, by the way. Um, let's place our repeaters like that. And then let's lead off our power. From wherever, let's lead off from here. Like that. And then let's do it like that. So there you go. Now what will happen is um, the power will always go to here. And depending on if you have this lever up or not, then it, then it will go through that block or not, uh, if that makes sense at all. Probably not, because I didn't really explain it very well. Okay, so let's do the same thing here. Build up, build our pistons right here, I think it is. Yep, build it level. Sand, 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 sand. Again, doesn't need to be sticky pistons. So let's put repeaters, repeaters, block, block, repeater, repeater, block, block. And then let's lead it off from here. And then there you go. I'm pretty sure that's done. Oh yeah, you want to do um, this. You want to have water running in, won't you? Yeah, you might. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure you need to just experiment a little bit with this. Um, I don't know how far you need to go out, but make it so that the water just barely ends at a middle two blocks. Okay, so let's try this. Let's get a bucket of water out. So that's actually perfect. It needs to be out one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. So let's do that again. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I have the two blocks in the middle. Oh, I messed that up. Whatever. So then if we were to go down one and then place it like this. And then let's say place some signs there. You can build the water to go out farther, uh, but signs are just a good way to... What is it? Damn signs. Oh, in the decoration. I'm smart. I got smarts in my brains. Let's place a sign there. Oh wait, no, it needs to be out one more. There we go. You guys are probably screaming at me there. So there you go. Now it will come, and it will fall into there, and the item will come to right here. And you just stand there and get your stuff. Um. So now let's fill it up. Completely forgot about that for a second. So you'll need lots of glass bottles. Um, I'm just gonna get 64 of each thing. Um, nether warts. Did I just miss it? No, I did. No, I didn't. Where are the nether warts? Nether. There you go. So fill up these with nether warts and like this. Each one having some. So I'll get back to you guys once I'm done filling this up. Okay, so I have all my stuff now. So on the sides, let's start by filling the side ones up with redstone. The next one up with glowstone. Go to the other far side. Next one up with fermented spider eye. And then the next one with gunpowder. Now you fill these ones up with your um, with your other ingredients or your secondary ingredients or whatever they're called. So magma cream, sugar, glistering melon, spider eye, 
gas tear, and then blaze powder. So I would label this. Um, this one would be a potion of uh, fire resistance. So let's, and then this one would be corrupting it. So I'm gonna have a corrupted potion of bows. So it'll just give me fire resistance right now. Yeah, there you go. So that's it, working. Boom. Oh yeah, should probably fill this in too, just in case something does go astray. And there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, and once again, peace. Hey guys, so I messed this bit up. Um, so here is me fixing it. Uh, I'm not going to voice over this because I just decided to do it quickly. But I'll take this time to say thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe and like. And uh, commenting makes me feel nice a little bit on the inside. Thanks for watching.